Hello, I'm Jake Sweet from Two Jake's Knives. I uh, want to show you a little bit of how I do Damascus, most of it for the part. Uh, I use a lot of high carbon steel. This is 1095, uh, some 1084, and 15 uh, N20. What I'm doing is sandwiching the nickels, and the nickels gives you that shiny line running through your Damascus. rebar to it uh, so I can use it as a handle. So what we're doing here is uh, we're cutting it down into handleable sizes and re-welding it and reforging it again.
Kind of leave it a little bit rough. That's my uh, that's my thing. If it looks good rough, leave it alone. This is uh, this mixture I've been using is half uh, white vinegar, distilled white vinegar, and half uh, ferric chloride acid. Let it sit in there just a second. You'll be able to see the pattern what it what it's doing. Ooh, that's a beauty. So what the ferric chloride does is it eats the uh, it etches the it etches steel. the carbon. It does not etch the nickel, and that's why we put nickel in it. Clean it off a little bit here. It doesn't take long, you can see the pattern. And there's the pattern we got. With all the twisting and carrying on, there's your pattern. And then of course the back spine is all natural. This is all natural Wipe twist. Yeah, see, it took it more, more away when I... Can you see it good? Mm-hmm. That's pretty. Oh, boy. That's real pretty. Right now with this, I think that we're going to leave it as is. We'll go ahead and drill it uh, before we heat treat, and then we'll heat treat after we drill. Do a little bit more cleanup on it. I think I'm going to leave that back like it is. I really like the look of that. Plus my thumb fits there real well. Nice little hunting knife. We'll go ahead and drill it, heat treat it, and get back with you. Cool.